This is a review of Walt Disney Imagineering, published in 1997 and written by the Imagineers. So it is sort of written by like a, almost like a collective first person of the Imagineers, but it's really just a, a small group of them working on this book. And so as soon as you open the book, you'll see this um, little envelope that's completely unnecessary, but completely wonderful. It's got like the um, signatures of various Imagineers, and then inside the envelope there's a replica of the original letter that the group who conceived and worked on this book sort of pitching the book, which is something I've never seen in uh, any book before, so it was, that was just like something really, I feel like, um, a really nice personal behind the scenes sort of touch on even how the book itself came to be. So that really gets the book off to a, a really great start. Although one thing that might be worth noting is that this book is also released in paperback, and in that version, this envelope and letter is, are actually uh, just photos printed on the page. It's only in the hardcover version that they're actually physical things, you know, you can open and take out. And so this book covers all of the, the Disney parks up to 1997, and like pretty much every book on the Disney parks I've ever read, um, it's really, really good, which is kind of like a, a blessing and a curse that they're all so good, because um, obviously it's a blessing because we want amazing books, but I guess the curse side is that it's really hard then to like... Um, choose which your favorites because they're all so good but i think i would definitely include this one in like my top 10 disney park books of all time but as ever i think this flip through and review is really important in helping you understand what you're going to get otherwise you could potentially be um, a little bit disappointed if you think you're getting a a real sort of nuts and bolts behind the scenes look at what goes on in Imagineering because that's not what this book is which you actually might expect it to be it's really not any sort of like um, uh, technical or or in-depth view on how on theme park design or how they make these um, imaginary creations for the Disney company. And this is something we see with pretty much all books on the, the Disney parks, especially the ones related to imaginary. Um, they are very secretive and I kind of don't really understand why. Like even in the, the introduction by Michael Eisner, he says that he um, sort of rejected the proposal for this book several times because he didn't want people um, learning how they do what they do. And I, I, I kind of feel like that's the, this sort of secrecy around Imagineering is a bit unnecessary because I mean, anyone with any sort of understanding of design or architecture or engineering anything like that will at least understand the basic principles of what goes into creating these attractions i mean it's not like you know what are they going to say oh how secret to success is that we christen every ride by making blood sacrifices to walt disney's ghost you know so instead what the book does is it gives um, sort of more general overview of what the, the the process of creating attractions is but i think m more importantly more specifically what the book's focus is is more on the spirit of imagineering and i was surprised how much i actually enjoyed that because i, I thought it was going to be a lot of sort of um generalizations and things you already know and a lot of like patting themselves on the back which it kind of is but at the same time there's this real um positivity towards uh, creative challenges and innovations and I just think it's really um, inspiring stuff you know no matter what sort of your career or, or hobby is but the main drawer of the book is definitely the images the selection is really really fantastic and a lot of stuff I haven't seen in any other books before but most important to this book's success is that um, in most books, the images are there to accompany the text. In this book, it, the reverse is true. The text is there to accompany the images. So about 90% of the text is actually just these captions, really great captions, um, that specifically discuss the image that you're looking at. And mostly that just takes the form of, you know, sort of like um, history or little Easter eggs and things about the attractions or the design you're looking at. And the, the variety of images in this book is fantastic. There's, you know, uh, concept sketches, uh, key art, graphic designs, sculptures, um, blueprints, uh, behind the scenes photos. And there is, of course, a lot of um, nice 
older images and discussion but of course the the main focus is sort of like the late 80s and 90s and there are actually quite a few other books um, written by or about the Imagineers and Imagineering including a sequel to this book which is even better if possible um, then there's Designing Disney and then I've also done reviews on the Imagineering field guides which kind of feel like um, <laughs> small crappy versions of of this sort of book in that it's you know uh, lots of photos that are way too small um, and sort of like commentary written by the Imagineers but ultimately a, another fantastic addition to the long long line of uh, Disney books that I'm sure any Disney Parks fanatic will really really enjoy.